teaching processes concerning the production of TV with Portuguese elderly, from the gratifications obtained by conception to the expectancies of the production processes. This is the title of our doctoral study. This study is directed by Patricia Finquias, Cristóvão Margarido, and Ricardo Pucinho. What drive us? Aging is lived in multiple ways. It is a broad and complex concept that has changed over time. Today, the elderly live active lives, and technology plays a major role. It helps them lead more meaningful lives. TV, in this context, plays a major role. The elderly spend a lot of their time watching TV. It is their most important source of information. In fact, the genre that they most consume is TV news. The possibility for producing, recording, and editing TV contents, like TV news for example, is also a reality for older people. State of the art, the population is becoming increasingly older. By 2070, there will be less than two working age persons for every person that is age 65. 45.9% of Portugal's population will be over 55 years old. TV has a major role in the elderly's lives. 89% of people over 55 use TV as their main source of information, entertainment, and to help them answer a plethora of needs, both personal and social. TV news represents a major part of the elderly's media diet. It answers instrumental and ritual needs. Video production tools are accessible today. And everybody, where we can also include older people, have the possibility of producing TV content, like, for example, news. The hypothesis of this study are TV plays a major role in older people's lives. The elderly with more education watch less television. Elderly with more education feel less lonely and are happier with their lives. Older people who watch more television feel less lonely. TV news is very important in elders' lives in Portugal. Its consumption helps them feel less lonely, more informed, entertained, and also helps them organize their day. Elders have difficulties in the production process of TV news, especially with the editing process. After producing TV contents, the elderly will show social and psychological changes. Research objectives. This study intends to profile older people's TV consumption habits. It intends to understand the possibility of differences in individuals that might be due to geographical, demographical, social and economic, education and cultural issues. It intends also to outline the possibility that TV consumption is correlated with subjective well-being. Confirm if TV consumption is connected to loneliness. Understand the different dimensions that TV has in elder people's home. Outline what would be the communication alternatives in case if there was no television. Understand what is the alternative if there is no TV news. Profile what is the importance that different forms of TV news production and communication means can have in elders' lives. Research approach and method. This study will be based on a quasi-experimental approach conducted through the following stages. Pretest using a questionnaire. Through a uses and gratifications approach, we intend to profile the elderly TV consumer, understand well-being, life satisfaction, socio-demographic aspects, and loneliness. The protocol consists of producing TV news content, interviews, and reports with older people who will be responsible for the production processes. Post-test, which will be conducted after the protocol, will be done through interviews with people involved in the protocol to see the gratifications that were obtained in the process. Thank you very much for your time. Now, I would like you to watch a video that is a promotional ad for the channel that we intend to be the outcome of this study. Thank you very much.